Hello world! In today's video, we'll understand how we can use this breadboard power supply module in our projects. So first of all, on the reverse side, as you can see, we have got four set of pins. So you are supposed to plug this power supply module on a breadboard like so. And now because it's a power supply module, you need to supply it with power. So I will be using a nine volt battery for this. And here, as you can see, there is an input jack provided. And I've got a battery with a connector clip and a DC plug. So I'll be simply connecting the DC plug to the DC jack. Once I've done that, I'll switch on the power supply module. And as you can see, the red LED lights up. Now, how are you supposed to use it? So we've got two rails for supply voltage. It can provide you 3.3 volts and 5 volts as well. If you connect the jumper on one extreme, you can get 3.3 volts. If you connect it in the middle, you will get 0 volts because it's switched off. If you connect it on the other extreme, as I've connected now, you will get 5 volts. So let's just measure the voltage using a multimeter. So for that, I'll connect to wires over here and I'll switch on the multimeter and switch to 20 volts range. Also, if you want to understand how to use a multimeter, then I have covered it in another video. So you may want to check that out as well. So here I am getting 5 volts as expected. Similarly, on the other end, let's check if I am getting 3.3 volts because my jumper is on 3.3 volts right now. So yes, I am getting 3.3 volts. So you see, you can get two different voltages on each end of the breadboard. If you connect jumper on one side to 5 volts, you get 5 volts. And on the other side, it's on 3.3, so you get 3.3. And in the off position, let's check if we are getting 0 volts. And yes, indeed, we are getting 0 volts. So now let's just take a closer look at this power supply module. Here you can see there is a USB output port as well. And this provides a regulated 5 volts power supply. Specifically, it is useful for USB devices. You can connect it to most of the microcontroller boards, uh, provided that they operate on 5 volts. An example could be like your Arduino board. Additionally, we have got four pins over here. Two ahead, as you can see, provide us 3.3 volts. And the ones that are behind provide you 5 volts. So in order to use these pins, let's just uh, say I want to use 3.3 volts. So I will need a female to male connector wire to get the voltage from these pins. So let's just check if we are getting 3.3 volts. So yes, we are getting 3.3 volts. Now, if I connect the wires to the last slot, I should be getting 5 volts, as I said earlier. So there is a clear cut advantage in using these pins. Let's just say you don't want to keep the module connected to breadboard because you want to free up the space on the breadboard. Then this is a smart way to do that. Or else if your power supply module is connected on one breadboard and you want to supply power to another breadboard, then you can do that with the usage of these pins. Now, on taking a closer look, we are seeing two voltage regulators over here. So, there is a voltage regulator for 3.3 volts and the other one is for 5 volts. So, the voltage regulator is responsible for providing a stable and regulated output voltage. So, basically, they help in maintaining a consistent voltage level in spite of changes in input voltage or load conditions. Apart from that, we have got a capacitor. So what is the role of capacitor over here? So its job is to filter out voltage ripples and fluctuations in your input voltage. So basically it provides a smoother and more consistent input voltage to the circuit. 
So this is all you need to know about the breadboard power supply module in order to use it. If you have additional questions, then you can ask them in the comment section below. Also, like the video, share it, and do subscribe to the channel. Oh, and I'd highly recommend you to check this video on how to use a multimeter. I have covered all the basic measurements and it is all covered in a very clear and crisp manner. So highly recommend you to check that out as well. And with that said, I'll see you in the next one. Bye world.